you got there? I got the Goji Green Mother Goji. Green Mother Goji OG. Mixed <laughs> Goji OG. I mixed it with uh, Alien OG. Why are you mixing things? Because I had this much Alien yeah. OG left, it's so. Ridiculous. One more. He's pre NMD, triple black, triple white pickup. You're getting both? Yeah, motherfucker. People ordered from Finish Line, or I can't remember which one. And they ordered the black, and then when they got their receipt, the Finish Line or whatever was sending them the white. I was like, damn, I wonder if they're switching out the stock. They're like, fuck it, you'll take what we give you. But if you want whites, are you talking about blacks or whites? I don't even know. I'm just talking. The black ones thing. are probably sold out. We could find out. I mean, we can walk through the mall too, real quick, after we get the shoes, throw them in the car. Or just, I can carry the shoes. Omar, you're the love of my life. It is weird they put that toe patch on there. It's like a completely different color. Yeah. I don't hate it. It's just straight. All right, some people want me to show you Rice Gums this track. A really good representation of all the shit that is going on. <laughs> Trouble Alert Nation, I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. I love this shit. Oh, this is amazing. Amazing. This is like TMZ of YouTube. I know. Dennis from my wallet. They just be hooping and howling. Now he's firing back. Yeah, and that's the old girlfriend. <laughs> Just ask her, like, listen. No, she moved into their house. Oh, shit. Yeah, because like, it's a big internet blogger house. 57 million. I'm not hating on it. 67 million 400,000 101 views. It's amazing. Let's put this shit out on iTunes, too. Like, does this sell? Like, do kids must ride out to this? I need to go check my mailbox, too. Or quality and conflict. And then the other words that glow in the dark on here. You know you could be gone. And it's the Sean Price shirt. And then you know you could be gone glows in the dark. Shit's fire. Fire. So yeah, quality and conflict. That's the worst, I can't just hang it on here. I bet you that works. And then it's upside down? You know, is this legal here? Yeah, I'm sure. Because it knows it's upside down. No. You think so? I mean, obviously, because we're looking at it upside down. <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like perplexed. I'm like, no way. Right, nice. We got dash cam footage. I'm hyped. Watch, your little bitch ass is gonna start trying to <coughs> drive better now. You're gonna be like, oh, Yeah, that was man. my plan today. Be... I'm like, I'm gonna drive so good. Everyone's gonna fucking. Head northeast on Cherokee Street, <laughs> then turn right onto West 10th. Turned Avenue. off. No. I'll turn do this. Right. I mean, it still says it's recording. But... Yeah, so maybe. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, eventually. That's what's yeah. Gonna yeah. Right now, I'm very focused. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah. Soon enough, you're gonna be like, oh, fuck. Turn left onto Spear Boulevard. Oh, you can't put oh. that on the vlog. You'll at least see me getting lost, because that's inevitable. It's true. Not even with your most intense focus. Yeah. <laughs> could you not get lost? This is great. You're just gonna put it up in the corner the whole time. <laughs> I only like to drive watching through there. Yeah, that's Most smart. Direction. Yeah, that's smart it's idea. It's more like a video game. Yeah, we should just move it right in front of you. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Battery. At least your shit keeps it like it's just some real life. Yeah. Because. I couldn't do that shit. I'm gonna be like, hey, what the fuck is going down? Hey, yo, all right, here we are, outside Barnes & Noble. I'm about to buy a book. About to buy a book. I'm about to buy a book. <laughs> I couldn't fucking do that shit, you know? What the fuck do you do that all day? I feel like I'd be exhausted by 12.30. Dude, like, that's Here we are, Cherry Creek. Now, let's... Yeah, she's on that blazing hot. He was on rollerblades. Let's oh, well, we got it on <laughs> Maybe. Dash Maybe. I don't know if the si Oh, yeah, the sidewalk is in there. Yeah. But we got to find you some fucking shorts and some socks. Because your sock game, my friend, if you wear those fucking high-ass socks with uncaged ultra boost again, 
Looking like you're wearing bootleg wings all the time. Turn right. No, oh, I don't wear shorts. I just wear the Alexander Wang shorts. Really? And like I have two pairs of Y3 shorts. It's like pretty much all I wear. Yeah. Well. So shorts are kind of maybe a hard, hard thing to find. Socks. But you certainly can find some socks. If you got to be. For J, for Diddy. but I think down there. Oh. He just needs like no show Adidas or something. Yeah. So we have uh, for no shows? Yeah, this holder is uncaged ultra boots with like socks up to his knee. <laughs> <laughs> just like daily vlog. Yeah, yeah whatever. Whatever I want. That's yeah. cool, man. Yeah. Right yeah. On. So get those, I'll give you some money for them. Right Right. Really? Everyone yeah. that I know that has them, a lot of people here wear them and they seem really like them. What you think? I like the black ones, but these are different. They're a little these different. Are like different too. Like this is all like, you know? Yeah. yeah, this is. The man? It's the man, yeah, right? Here, man. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass. Yeah, pass yeah. on him. Cool, cool. I know somebody will come grab him. Yeah. I wish that was just like, it's just like a little rough. Right Never to Spear Boulevard. Can you part? Your car here. I'm a little tight that this is the end of the driving and you didn't fucking not once. Yeah. Yeah, you're an asshole. <laughs> trying to make me look like a liar. <laughs> look at you, you even park it all perfect when you parallel park. Normally like, Ugh. Well, we smoked fake weed this morning so you could operate. <laughs> you ain't got some fucking <coughs> spice so you wouldn't drive like a dick. No, I got this. Believe me, it'll happen. No, I know it will. Let's start with the NMDs that dropped today because this will be quick because we've covered NMDs a lot. I have a lot of NMDs. So real quick though, PK NMD, you can go true to size or you can half size down. It's kind of up to you. That's pretty much it. That's all you really need to know. They're really comfortable. It's a casual shoe. Not as comfortable as Ultra Boost. Definitely not a runner. More of a lifestyle shoe. You know, kick back, watch Netflix with your chick. You know, just chill out. That's. That's an NMD for you. This Japan pack, the new version, I would say, uh, one white pair, all white, all white pair, all white PK NMD. It is an all white upper. The white taping on it has somewhat of a creamish look, but it's still just a different uh, tone of white. Regular NMD heel. I mean, everything is just, I'm not gonna go super in depth about this because I think we all know what a PK NMD is at this point. So this is the white Japan pack, the only other pure white NMDs we have like this that are PK is the gum pack and then the original monochrome pack. So this is a must cop for me to pick up another pair of whites. Everyone's favorite, which is also the less made version. There's definitely, Jesus, there's definitely more white pairs out there than there are black pairs. So this is the black pair, which is super, super clean. I mean, it's just super clean, like all black. I'm glad they took the little arrows off. You know, they have those little directional arrows. They took that off. Black Boost really makes the um, kanji, I don't know if it's actually called kanji, but the Japanese writing uh, pop. Black Boost, of course. I mean, this is just crazy clean. You know, somebody will call it a restaurant shoe, but whatever. Oh, half size down, if you'd like. I went 13 just because it was easier. I do have quite a few 12 and a half. Um, yeah, but these are the PK Japan Pack NMD. This black shoe sold out hella quick as far as I can tell. Um, everywhere. So again, people want to say NMDs are dead, but you know, whatever. Here, I know they're out there. Resale right now doesn't seem too crazy. I don't think it'll get too crazy. Um, at least not in the next little bit, but um, you never know. PK NMD, Japan Pack.
other shoe we're going to talk about, which I got yesterday, I wore all day today, is the Ultra Boost Laceless Size 13. Alright, so this is what the shoe looks like. Um, these are super comfortable. These are actually really, 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 really comfortable. I would say they're much more comfortable than the uncaged Ultra Boost. Uh, they've completely reinforced this back panel like crazy. It's just like, it's night and this is just crazy. Like it's, there's so much padding in the back heel area all the way kind of around. The band on the last version is PK, so it's um, it's stretchy and still has elastic in it, but this band is just straight up elastic. So it's a lot more stretchy. This opens up quite a bit. It's really comfortable around your ankle. Really no rub whatsoever that I felt at all. That was one thing about Uncaged. Some people said it rubbed weird. I didn't feel any rub at all in the back of my ankle. Um, the front tongue, which is one of the things I said I really wasn't a fan of, was kind of the band-aid on the front, but I, you just don't really notice it. So it's really Really just really me just finding something that I can say I don't like about the shoe before it comes out as we all do and then of course boost you got like the 3d printed heel cup on this one black on black ultra boost branding continental sole with the red torsion system and then this upper so this is definitely PK it reminds me kind of a reigning champs ish PK so you have this crazy black and white or gray and white, I don't know, black, gray, and white, All that's actually salt and pepper. The red is, is also peppered in, in there that you see present in the band. I'm just gonna call it the laceless band. Even though it's not a band, it's all knitting. The only thing is different is there's like a, a raised, you know, there's raised bars of knitting that go across, kind of like faux laces. And this is really constrictive. It's actually kind of crazy, but it's also nothing like the Uncaged Ultra Boost. Like the Uncaged is like stiff in here and it has that inner cage. This doesn't have that and it's just like way more flexy on your foot, even though this kind of area feels a little coarse in your fingers. You don't really feel that. It's it's nice. Like the PK is super nice. You barely notice that anything's on your feet. Like I'm walking around and you just, you just don't notice they're on your feet. I took the insoles out when I first put the shoe on and the third, this is a 13. I took the insole out because at first it did feel a little stuffy. Uh, I'm not saying that I probably couldn't wear them without the insole, but today I just decided to take them out. My socks aren't that thin today either, so that's why I bought a new sock and got earned socks. Um, you know, you have reinforcement on the outside, kind of like you see on the Ultra Boost Mid. They've added this feature to the laceless as well. Yeah, and then the band itself is just a bunch of different color, like red, more black, and salt and pepper. It just crazy colors. It's a really cool design, honestly. Like, these in hand look way better than any of the photos do justice, in my opinion, so. Which has kind of been the case lately. Like, there's been a lot of stuff like the wangs and everything else that people once I feel like once you see them on feet it kind of changes everything so even on the toe box there's this you know just how they did with the uncaged of the three stripes there but here there's just this little panel it's this little panel that is a different stitching kind of crazy and then my one of my fa favorite things about this shoe and most Adidas shoes is the lack of branding there's really like when you're wearing this shoe you really can't tell that it's an Adidas shoe unless you know what's up I like that I just kind of like the minimal crazy branding shits. Um, yeah, super sick. Definitely glad that I copped these. These are super sick. They come out in the United States soon. I believe September is what they said. Uh, I'm definitely gonna cop more of these. Looking forward to seeing what they do with this. Consortium pairs or something would be nice. Triple black would be nice, but um, yeah, we will see. Looking forward to it. That is the Laceless Ultra Boost.
so and then the last thing I have to talk about is the drop tomorrow. So we have the city pack is dropping tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. That's noon on the East Coast and 9 a.m. in New York. There's the option to get all four cities. The four cities are Chicago, Houston, New York City, and Miami. Those four can come in one pack. It also comes with an 11 by 14 print on watercolor paper that I've made uh, that will that'll come with it signed, and that's the only way to get it is with the pack. So if you get the pack, you get four t-shirts, each of the shirts, LA is excluded because we've already dropped it, but will be sold separately tomorrow. And then you also get the print in the package. So four shirts, print, $100, out the door, well, plus shipping. And also the individual shirts will be available because I know not everybody wants every shirt. All five cities will be available. So LA, Miami, New York, Houston, Chicago, individually, each shirt will drop at a different time, but not really like, I'm not wait making everybody wait like hours. I'm just gonna drop the first shirt first, and then a few minutes later, the next shirt will load, and a few minutes later, the next shirt will load. Just so 10 a.m. Mountain Time is when the drop starts. The shirts and the packs are limited. Um, I don't know about restocks. I don't know what the plan is for anything like that yet. It just depends. Um, so yeah, good luck. If you want something, much appreciated everyone. Much love and we will see you guys tomorrow. Well, maybe not. The vlog maybe on on Monday. Think about starting to do this YouTube live thing on the weekends with Aaron. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really know how to work it, but I'm sure I can look into it. All right. So, see you guys later. Peace. Peace.